there seems to be a growing set of conversations about how point systems are perceived as negative and punitive in trying to incentivize attendance in more positive ways, along with fostering accountability and cultural changes, is presenting the point system in a more positive way, a conversation that's happening at Western Sugar? And if so, how are you doing this? That is a really good question. That is a good one. I think that's kind of the goal is like, how do we put it in that positive way? And how do we get in front of the teams to help support? And I think a lot of it is feeding, like surveys is probably a good suggestion. I have my ear to the ground with a lot of my staff. So we've already started to hear the rumblings. And obviously I got some of the rumblings in the first time around. So I kind of know what I'm going into and I'm a big planner. So I'll really start to, you know, ask my HR staff what they're hearing and those types of stuff leading into it. Cause there has, we've been talking about this for a couple months. And so there already has been grumbling and we have one union steward who's like, no, there's no way I'm going to support it. Well, that's cool. I just want to know a little bit more as to why that is to come mm -hmm. into it. Um, I can see how the points are punitive, but we're more punitive with our four, like in our situation with our four, just our four incident situation. So we think it makes it less punitive for the person in a way for it's like, it's not just four incidents. We've now like tripled your incidents because you can have eight attendance incidents and then these other four performance or whatever types of incidents over here. And so I think telling that story has been big too of like, we're giving them more chances with more visualization. And I think that's the piece. I also think there is something in incentivizing those people who have the good in, in attendance, which I think team sense is giving me that data to kind of start to point out who those people are. Um, and then I can decide how I want to do that. So I think that's an expansion for us because I think this is a huge culture shift. And, and as we all know, especially most of us in the HR world is change is a long process. And so this is just the first step for us. Um, so this is, this is going to be a long-term thing for me and really each of our rollouts in the different unions and sites will be a learning curve and I, I continue to learn more each time. I yeah. love you talking about that perfect streak feature, especially Brittany, like being able to say like not only uh, being able to use an attendance policy for negative implications, but also being able to see like who's showing up every day and doing doing the job and like doing it consistently and being able to reward them. Um, that's that's something that we we think a lot about too, is like keeping that balance between positive and negative. So I love that. Yeah, I think the transparency it helps promote the accountability piece. I think, um, at least for me, if I know where I stand, then I'm going to take that on. It's on me to really manage that. I think you gave a good example of like, you know, if I just kind of, you know, goofed off work, didn't show up, accumulate all these points, and then all of a sudden I have an emergency you know, that's kind of on me because I really was neglecting my attendance stance. And then all of a sudden, if an emergency pops up, then yikes, you're, you're kind of out of points, right? So I think there's kind of accountability on both sides. And you still allow for that human empathy side too. you know, you've reviewed things. And I think that's also and finding that point for like, that point for you, like that threshold of where it's enough that it's an, a normal amount of people should be using their allowance time the right way and not the abuse. And so we're trying to just cut down the abuse slightly. 